The Department of Sports, Arts and Culture has quickly ushered in Women's Month with the, the launch of a book about the life of legendary vendor sculptor Norea Mabasa. Under the Living Legends program, the book and program is aimed at safeguarding South African skills and knowledge for the benefit of future generations. Mabasa's book is the first among two published under the program. Itegani Magwedze reports. Women's Month has kick-started on a high the Constitutional Hills Women's Prison with the launch of legendary artist Noria Mabasa's book, recognizing her in black and white as a living treasure. The living human treasures are individuals who, to a high degree, possess knowledge and skills in rituals, rites of passage, skills, techniques, as well as profound understanding of nature and the universe. The book is titled Noria Mabasa, The Sculptor of Dreams. The work of her hands from clay and wood has been recognized across the globe. She received her inspiration for her wonderful sculptures from dreams that she had while she was staying with her brother in White City, Jabavu, in Johannesburg. The Living Treasures program is not only set to retain the knowledge of the elders, but to impart it in the young. I was still a young lady staying with my brother in White City, Jabu, Jabavu, when I had the same dream for four times. Mabasa, a wealth of knowledge herself, laments the lack of government support to help train young people in learning the artistic skills she and others possess. Minister Natim Teto says the program is aimed at telling the South African story. It is important that as South Africans, we do all that we can, we can to tell the South African story with all its multiples, narratives, its nuances, its sufferings, and its glory. You've just had one tonight from Umam Noria Mabas. An event to launch the book of renowned large-scale contemporary Ndebele painter Dr. Esther Masangu will be hosted soon. For Newsroom Africa on Channel 405, I'm Itekani Magwedze in Johannesburg.